Whew, it's muggy. It's muggy in Chicago today and uh, so a buddy of ours told us about this hot dog place in Chicago and it's apparently really really good so I'm gonna just give it a shot. It's actually just down the street from our hotel just like just maybe a couple blocks down so I'm gonna give it a shot to see if it's actually really good. I've been craving. I want a big thick juicy sausage. I, I've been craving um, a Chicago style hot dog. I think this is the opportunity for me to actually get one, so it's actually going to be a, a really cool experience. I, I think I think it's called Portobelli or Pork Belly or, or Portobelli, whatever it is, right? But uh, let's try this place out. Um, be really interesting to see what the difference is. So I heard that in Chicago they don't put ketchup on their hot dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on because I love ketchup, so. Yeah, um, heading over right now. Uh, we'll, we'll be there soon. It's called Portillo's Hot Dogs. I'm gonna give it a shot. Peppers. Oh, spicy. Yep. No ketchup, like I thought. Tomatoes, pickles, mustard, relish. So I think this is the. It's just their hot dog. I don't think this is the sausage. I don't know. But we'll see. Maybe it's the, uh, the Maxwell sausage. I don't know. I gotta do the pickle alone. It's too big. I just love the pickles. Ever since I'm, ever since my days of working at Harvey's, I loved it. This is fantastic. So I don't know if this is the Maxwell or this is the, um, the hot dog, but this is fantastic. This place used to be, uh, back in 1963, it used to be just like a hot dog stand. And fast forward to 2022, you know, they have a huge place here in, in Chicago, huge. Um, really restful. The relish. See, it's really chunky too. I like it. 
I really like this thing. try the second one so I don't know if it's the Maxwell or the uh, hot dog but whatever that first one was was fantastic <laughs> This is the Maxwell. Mm, sauteed onions and mustard. All it has. Very simple. for my liking but still very juicy. I love these onions. That hot dog was out of this world. It was, it was different. It was different than, than what I've been used to. Sausage, I didn't go with that. Just left the world famous Portellos. Portillo. Sightseeing bus in Chicago. Hoping to do that one day. Looks like it's gonna rain. Feel sorry for those on the tour bus there. But uh okay. Portillo. Oh, it's spinning already. Oh, it's spinning. Um, the sausage, let's start with the sausage. The sausage was nothing special. I've had many sausages like that before. Um, kind of really kind of salty for my liking. But uh, I like the onions. But overall, it wasn't anything special. But the hot dog, though, the hot dog was was definitely unique. I don't know how to describe it, but the second that you put you, the second that you bite into it, it's just it's just it just tastes different, it just feels different. It just 
you can tell that they put time and effort to, into uh, to like crafting the hot dog to, to be what it is, right? So that, that's my take on it. I, I think the place is fantastic. The vibe is fantastic. The, the decor, everything about the place was just, uh, just awesome. So I do recommend it highly. Yeah, it's one of those places when you come to Chicago, you gotta try at least once. You know, it's, it's very welcoming, it's very uh, family friendly and, and such. So definitely try it. I, I, I love it. I like it, I like it a lot. The sky is gonna fall very soon. Crazy. Check out this place. It's really cool. It's really nice. I think Chicago did a really good job. It's just like, just getting people to come out to places like this. Look at this. Like it's a whole, the whole street is shut down just to get people to come out. Good job, Chicago. Finally back at the hotel. I'm gonna get some rest, do some work, and the goal tonight is to find some uh, some good deep dish pizza places. So, <laughs> gotta go. We decided that we weren't gonna be slaves to our room oh. and Please. brave out, brave the uh, brave the rain. So we're gonna head over to like a, a mall kind of area and see what we can do and do be mall rats for the afternoon because like it's raining out here in Chicago. We were. What'd you What'd you say, Mike? We were thinking of going to the casino, but it's basically, one hundred twenty dollars US to get there and back. So that On top of the four hundred that we're gonna lose. Twenty dollars worth of beer. Sounds like a plan. Right. Is that right, man? Yes. So, in an effort to get out of the rain, we decided to mall ride a little bit, and uh, we're at the shops, north side, whatever it is, and uh, it's it's fancy as f. You see? Yeah. Fancy. Um, we're also gonna try to get some food. So I tried the uh, the hot dogs. I tried the um, the hot dog and the sausages and um, we are now gonna try um, try to find a, a deep dish pizza place. <laughs> a deep dish pizza place. It's gonna be really interesting. It looks like they're recording a TV show here. Check it out. I wonder how wet all these people got. Considering it was raining earlier. But the view is amazing. What's the plan tonight, Mike? What's the what? Plan tonight. Oh, start shooting darts at each other. At each other. Yep. Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. oh that's not him. Nope. We're waiting for somebody. Oh, there he is.
want to play anything else. She needs to explain it to us. Look at this Starbucks Reserve Roastery. It's huge. One, two, three, four floors, and it's jam packed in there. And it looks like there's a lineup to go in, too. Wow. Chicago. Walking down uh, Michigan Street, downtown Chicago. We got the Nike store here, I think. Nothing's open yet. It's around like 9:30 in the morning right now, but it's really, really beautiful. Out. I love all the greenery on the side here. Look how beautiful it is. Like it's just the effort that they put into making sure their city is immaculate. Look at this. All this work. Nice and green. Wow. And this is like downtown, downtown Chicago. Like if this was New York City, this would be like all full of just shit and crap. Not even that's green. Not tidy, but this is amazing. Good job, Chicago. Well, I needed to make sure that I wasn't going to get runned over. Well, the problem is, I was filming the car where it said, do not walk. <laughs> Look at all this. Like I said, I'm really impressed with the greenery. We are going to go check out Bloomingdale's. And look at all the stuff that we can't afford. Let's go. Bloomingdale's. Crazy. Check out this place. So, the, apparently the story about um, the Windy City being called the Windy City is a. Uh, um, it has nothing to do about Chicago actually being windy. So the the true story of uh, you know the origin of the uh, of the story really comes from like uh, uh, the, the World Fair. Uh, how Chicago and New York were trying to bid for uh, for the World Fair back in like 19 whatever it is right, and uh, and at that point. Chicago, there's a big fire in Chicago, and, and Chicago was trying to revive its, its 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 tourism and economy again, and uh, and then they were bidding against New York, and New York's like, and so so Chicago made this 
big ass presentation trying to get lure people uh, lure people in and try to get this this world fair and the new new york guys are like yeah don't listen to chicago you know their city just burned down they're just blowing smoke up your ass and that's where they term windy city came from they're just blowing smoke up your ass and that that's came that came from new york not chicago and it's not because chicago is a chicago is a windy city it's just new york trying to trying to downplay chicago uh for for the for the bid for the world fair and it turns out chicago did win that bid and and the name kind of stuck from there so that's a pretty cool tidbit to know that you know chicago isn't really windy city it's just a name that another city gave chicago so you know at this moment it is this kind of windy Chicago is such a beautiful city. The Wings of Chicago Monument. But in the background, look at this. This is nice, eh, Mike? Yeah. So I wonder what these flags are. It's got. I don't recognize. Oh, that's that's Myanmar. Is it? No, that's that's. Okay, that's. Is that Costa? No, is that Costa Rica? Maybe Chicago. I don't know any of these flags. There's Canada right here. Uh, that looks like Taiwan right here. Uh, maybe that's Colombia here. This looks like it's England or Thailand. One of the two. No, no, no. I don't know. So I really don't know what these flags represent. But there's this guy in the middle. I don't know who he is. There's got to be a sign somewhere here, but yeah, I really don't know what these flies kind of stand for. But it's a nice area. Got a pizzeria right here. Tons of pizzerias in uh, in Chicago. It's a cool little square. And you know, and look, it's so clean. This is what I love about Chicago, so clean. Everywhere you go, well, the downtown core at least. Everywhere you go, it's so clean. Mr. Uh, doesn't want to be an angel over here. Our need. Plaza of the Americas. Oh, that's what it is. So it's all like. American yeah, based American yeah no this is like all like North American flags North American Southern America flags that's yeah. what it is okay this view never gets old walked it several times in the last few days and still such a beautiful view like there's no other city in the states that's like this. Look at this building. Architect. Waterfront. Like this is insane. Like I don't know how you can ever get bored living here. Uh, let's check out the waterfront. Chicago waterfront tour happening tour gonna happen but check out this bridge this is the waterfront right here and check out the skyline 
top 10 skyline in the world for sure. Like nothing beats this view. Amazing. Wow. Ton of people out on the streets today and this is a Tuesday that building the Chicago Tribune building we got the flag we got the Trump Plaza Look at this guy. I'm walking along the side of the uh, river right now. Look how green the river is. I'm not sure if that's intentional or colored or water here. It's just beautiful. The green, the green water. Blue skies. And Chaya Chai. Have you ever seen a building like this? Parking space, I guess restaurants and so forth down here, and retail shops. And then just condos after condos after condos. What a unique building. Like the person that designed it. The bridge is worn out. Now we're gonna wait here half an hour for the boat to go. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll go down to the next street. But look at this. Yeah. Such a beautiful moment. Everywhere we go, this guy gets stopped by security, gets stopped by <laughs> trying to... And, and, and the most innocent person. Smuggles in hair gel, <laughs> 200, 200 uh, milliliters worth of hair gel. Toothpaste, gold. Yeah. 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 